Hi, I'm Finn Wolfhard, and I'm about to go undercover on the internet. And this is actually me. Twitter. Mary says, you said you cut your chin on a desk in Jimmy Fallon. Did they cover that up in Stranger Things by you getting hurt on the rock? Oh, that's a great question. No, they didn't. But that would have been a good writing point. <laughs> that would have been a good uh, addition to the script if they did. I know the Duffers love adding stuff that actually happened to us in real life into the show, but no, they didn't. Replied. Krista C. Quinn. Is Finn Wolford okay? Why does he like horror so much? It's all coincidence, uh, but I'm also a psychopath. Reddit. How jumping from Cliff was made in season one. Finn Wolfhard was made seen of Mike, who was forced by Troy jumping from Cliff to water. Then James comes broke Troy's arm. What are behind the scenes? Visual effects or similarity or bungee jumping? Thanks for answers. It was a few things. It was a real cliff. We could only stand maybe 30 feet from the actual edge. We never got close to it. It started with the location. I would walk off camera, they would cut. They built a fake cliff with a mat underneath it and they shot from below and I would walk up and look down. That's the shot where I'm looking down off the cliff. I then jump off onto a mat, but it then cuts. I'm suspended in the air. I am on a giant blue screen in Atlanta, Georgia, being hung by my butt on a giant wire, and I'm being dragged up like that. It was fun for the first two hours when you're kind of flying around, but then you realize that you're chafing in places that you would never normally chafe in in your entire life. So uh, I, I was very happy with the finished result. Posted more Twitter from Lindsay Vance. Is it just me, or does anyone else think that Finn Wolfhard would make an excellent young Ben Solo? It is not just you. I would love to do that, but it just ended. The series just ended, but you know, I'm a free agent Marvel and Disney, I'm around. Marvel doesn't handle any. Well, it's owned by Disney. Anyways, whatever, hire me. What made you want to take on your role in The Turning? I wanna see it, but looks so scary, LOL. You're an awesome dude. Thank you, Alicia. I, that's really nice of you, first of all. And second of all, I thought that The Turning was different from any thriller or horror script I'd read before. I thought that all the characters were very uh, put together and well-developed. And I thought that Miles, the character that I play, was weird and unorthodox, and I wanted to take it on and try to play him. Is The Turning based on the turn of the shrew? Well, it is based on the turn of the screw but not the turn of the shrew. Quora. Without any spoilers, who gives the best performance on Stranger Things? Well, I'd like to say myself, but I know I really wouldn't. I think David Harbour gives an amazing performance. I love Winona Ryder's performance. I love Joe Curie's performance. You know what? Scratch all of that. I love everyone's performance in the show. If Stranger Things and It had a crossover, would Mike Wheeler and Richie Tozer get along because they're both Finn Wolfhard? That is a great question. Mike would hate Richie. Richie is much too abrasive for Mike. Mike is a really intense person too, so I think Richie would think he's really intense and Mike would think Richie is really dumb. But maybe they could, you know, if they had a mediator, maybe they could do it. What would be the ideal, is it antithesis? And oh, Jesus, oh. That's why I'm an actor, okay. What would be the ideal antithesis to Finn Wolfhard? I guess, let's think, who is the opposite of me? And like, any, I guess anyone that's not me. That's a good, right? <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good answer. Yahoo Answers. Bethany Ann, what is the show Stranger Things really about? I've read summaries in the description, but I just don't understand. No spoilers, please. Why wouldn't you just watch the show? I don't understand why you had to go on Yahoo Answers to ask people what it's about when you can't, you know what, just watch the show. Instagram. You may not believe it, but it's actually me. Here is me with a mullet. Finn, what happened? Well, sometimes when you have long hair and you straighten it, it looks different. So I'm not, you know, I'm not sure. This was for fun. I wanted to do something different with my hair and half the people liked it and apparently half didn't. I loved it. Posted Wikipedia. 
Wolfhard got his first acting job from Craigslist. That is true. I got my first acting job from Craigslist. Um, it wasn't sketchy, it was for this local Canadian band that needed a kid for their music video. And I went up and I auditioned for it with a bunch of young, fun college kids that were making it and directing it. And uh, it was great. And I got the first job I ever auditioned for, I ended up booking. But part of that I think was just because I looked like the lead singer. IMDB. Finn admitted to having a fear of clowns, appropriate for playing Richie Tozer in the new It movie. I don't not have a fear of clowns. It's not like my fear. I guess I might have said that in an interview or two. That's really because I couldn't really come up with a better response. I think clowns are scary on a surface level, but they're not my full on fear. Submit. He plays the guitar, the piano, the drums, bass, and the harmonica. That is all true. I do play all of those. It's not like I play them well, but I do play them. Technically, anyone could say that they play anything. Uh, it doesn't mean that anyone plays it well, but uh, I do play all of that stuff. Next, more Reddit. Does anyone know which guitar pedals Finn uses? That's a good question. I do the same thing with musicians that I really like to try to emulate their sound, but that's really nice that someone asked that. Right now, I'm using this thing called a distortion feedbacker. It's made by Boss, and um, Kurt Cobain used to use it. Lots of people used to use it, but that's one of the noble names. I also use a Holy Grail reverb pedal. I use a Boss chorus and a tuner pedal, and that's about it. And then maybe a Fender amp or something like that. Seriously, it's actually me. His three favorite films are The Graduate, Days Confused, and Melody. That is all true. Those are my three favorite films of all time. I have lots more that I love. Those are some of my favorite films. Graduate is probably, yeah, definitely my number one, and then it kind of everything else. Melody is a movie that I've never met anyone in my life who's seen that movie other than me and my parents, but it's great. Okay, that's it. Signing off the internet.